A good day starts with hot coffee and our friend Postman bringing you coins. Here we have three new chunky Roman silver coins from the 2nd and 3rd century AD. And if you like eagles on your collection, this is the right kind of coin for you. These are Roman tetadrachm from the city of Antioch, the third largest city of the Roman Empire. As the main hub that connected Europe and Egypt to the Silk Road, Antioch was always a key city for the Romans, and the great crossroads between west and east by land. It wasn't only important for commerce, but also militarily. Rome always met great rivals with the Parthians and the Sasanians, and had to keep a very heavy military presence at all times, being Antioch the main center for its logistics. You put these two factors together, and the result is quite a lot of silver flowing through the city. And the main way silver would flow was in the shape of the tetadrachm. Since Hellenistic times, it was the main coin used for commerce. And it was so well accepted, the Romans just decided to adapt it to the Roman style instead of forcing their own coins. So let's start looking at the newcomers. We begin with this tetadrachm of Trajan. And if you own a denarius of him, you can clearly make a difference between the imperial style and the eastern style of Antioch. We then move to this one struck under Emperor Caracalla. He minted a lot of coins there, and the quality of his coinage varies between the horrendous and the high quality one. This one is quite nice in my opinion. The eagle is of a more eastern style, but it still looks very sharp. And then we have this little guy over here. This is Gordian III, and the styling of this coin would not be out of place in Rome. So either they had Roman dyes shipped to Antioch, or minted coins in Rome and shipped, and shipped them all the way east. The eagles on the reverse look different from the previous ones, and we can still notice some mint luster on the coin, which is incredible. It's my favorite co coin of the bunch, and I'm really excited about it. They are going to join two other tetradachma I have previously purchased, both also featuring the eagle. The first one was struck under Philip II, and it still features the eagle, and I like how it is completely different from everything that we've seen previously. And finally we have this weird little guy over here. Look how dark it is. This one was struck under Emperor Elagabalus, and this was supposed to be made out, out of debased silver, but it shouldn't look that dark. I wonder if this is just a very thick patina over the silverish surface of the coin, or if this is a case of a limes falsa, a coin struck on base metal for troops stationed on the front lines. The coins could be traded back for normal coinage once a soldier would go back from the front lines and back to, to the city. I feel like this kind of coinage is a hidden gem of Roman numismatics and not a lot, of, a lot of people pay attention to them. So next time you go shopping to expand your collection, maybe give these eagles a little look. See you guys in the next one. Bye.